Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be the, reading the story Radiant Child, the story of young artist Jean Michael Besquet, written by Javaka Steptoe. And this story is also a Colbicott Medal winner. Somewhere in Brooklyn, between hearts that thump, double dutch, and hopscotch, and salty mouths that slurp sweet ice, a little boy dreams of being a famous artist. In his house, you can tell a series, Artist Dwells. As he sits at a table with pencils scattered everywhere, Jean Michael draws from morning until night with a serious face amid a storm of papers. He refuses to sleep until he has created a masterpiece. At night, images enchant John Michael's mind, and he wakes from his dreams to add more lines. His drawings are not neat or clean, nor does he color inside the lines. They are sloppy, ugly, and sometimes weird, but somehow still beautiful. His art comes from his mother, Matilda a Puerto Rican woman who designs and sews, cooks and cleans, and makes the house like a stylish magazine. But most important, she lies on the floor and draws with John Michael on his father's old work papers. From her, he learned that art is not only the poetry book she reads to him or in the theaters and museums they visit. Art is the street games of little children in our style and the words that we speak. It is how the messy patchwork of the city creates new meanings for ordinary things. While visiting the museum, they look at his favorite work of art. Reading the story behind each artist, reading the story behind each work, this is how Jean Michael learns it was meant, what it meant to be a famous artist. Back at home, he creates art on the floor as his father, Gerard, plays jazz records. Mama Matilde cooks a rose corn polo and calls John Michael Mi Amor. The energy and life of the city can be felt in each line of the drawings. As time goes by, John Michael learns that art has a healing power. After a car accident, he is scared and confused. Matilde gives him a book to calm his fears. It is filled with pictures of bones, skulls, and other body parts. John Michael draws from it until he knows it all by heart. He is no longer afraid. Back at home, Jean Michael's body heals, but his heart breaks. His mother's mind is not well, and the family breaks. She no longer lies on the floor and draws with Jean Michael, but sits by the window singing only to birds. Jean Michael is confused and filled with the terrible blues when Matilde can no longer live at home. He tries drawing the terrible out of his blues, but things are not the same. As John Michael grows older, he visits his mother when he can, always bringing his artwork to show, telling her that one day it will be in a museum when I am a famous artist. A teenager now, John Michael decides, Papa, I will be very, very famous one day. With a sly look, a twinkle in his eye, John Michael leaves Brooklyn for New York City, the Lower East Side, a concrete jungle where only the tough survive. During the day, dressed in a green jumpsuit splattered with paint, Jean Michael stays with friends, sleeping on couches and floors, leaving a barrage of collages and poems filled papers everywhere he goes. At night, Jean Michael spray paints the walls downtown with poems and drawings that catch the eye of artists, gallery goers, and passerbys. Under his art, he signs his name, Samu, instead of Jean Michael. Everybody wants to know, who is Zamu? Zamu moves from street corners to art gallery walls with powerful color composition and line, collaging and painting on anything he can find. His art is still not neat or clean and definitely not inside the lines, but somehow it is still beautiful. With his magical charm, Jean Michael draws a crowd, but when it's time to work, he prepares to be alone with the radio and a TV on full blast. Now in expensive suits splattered with paint, he flips through stacks of magazines and opens books and paints into the night and sometimes for days at a time. 
while sounds and images jump into his head. Jean Michael, an artist among artists, never doubts one line, creating from a soundtrack that is all his own. People describe him as a radiant, wild, a genius child, but in his heart he is king, so he draws crowns for himself and others he admires. A grown man now, with the art world in his hands, Jean Michael still visits his mother when he can. And at his most important shows, above the critics, fans, and artists he admires, the place of honor is his mother, a queen on a throne. He is now a famous artist. The end.